Island, The Complete Stories 2000, includes all the stories from Canadian author Alistair MacLeod's earlier collections, The Lost Salt Gift of Blood, and As Birds Bring Forth the Sun and Other Stories, as well as two previously unpublished tales. The Guardian describes Island as provokingly singular and rare, an island of richness. In the opening story, The Boat, a professor reflects on his childhood in Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia. His mother is strong and resilient, while his father, a fisherman, is quiet and hardworking. As his sisters marry and leave home, the narrator considers pursuing education elsewhere. However, as his father ages, he decides to abandon his studies to support the family fishing business, making a pact with his father to stay on the island for as long as his father is alive. Tragedy strikes during a winter storm, resulting in his father's death at sea. The father's body is discovered in late November, leaving the narrator's mother to survive on a meager pension. Despite his decision to leave home, the weight of abandoning his mother and the trauma of his father's death haunt him. In The Golden Gift of Grey, a man uproots his family from a coal mining camp in rural Kentucky to seek better job opportunities in Indiana. Although they feel the move is necessary, both parents are heartbroken to see their children sever ties with their ancestral home in Kentucky. Their teenage son, Jesse, rebels against his parents by skipping class to gamble at a local pool hall. Feeling guilty for defying them, he decides to give them the $31 he won, hoping it will atone for his actions. Instead, his parents are appalled by his lack of morals and demand he return the money. Jesse then devises a plan to keep the money without lying, feeling proud of navigating life's moral gray areas. And in the fall, an impoverished mining family grapples with what to do about their aging pit horse. In desperate need of money, the mother urges the father to sell the horse to a knacker who disposes of unwanted animals. The father, however, refuses, as he has a deep bond with the horse that has worked alongside him in the mines for years. He recalls a night when the horse waited in the freezing cold rather than abandon him. Both parents stand firm in their positions, while their son plots to free the horse if his mother gets her way. Ultimately, the father relents, but when they try to deliver the horse to the knacker, the horse refuses to follow. The father is left with no choice but to lead his beloved companion to slaughter himself. In the road to Rankin's point, 26-year-old Callum is tasked with convincing his 96-year-old grandmother to leave her dilapidated farm. All her neighbors have long since departed Rankin's Point, but she stubbornly refuses to move, fearing that relinquishing control of her estate will lead to a nursing home. She is deeply connected to her Gaelic heritage, particularly a violin hanging on her wall from her ancestors in Scotland. Although Callum has been assigned this difficult task by the rest of the family, he struggles to commit to it. Callum is battling leukemia and understands the importance of dying on one's own terms. The morning after sharing stories about her ancestors' ability to predict their deaths, his grandmother passes away, having outlived her husband, siblings, and three children. In The Tuning of Perfection, 78-year-old Archibald lives atop a mountain in Cape Breton, singing traditional Gaelic songs. His talent catches the attention of folklorists from Toronto who travel to record his performances. These recordings attract a television company from Halifax looking to feature a group of traditional Gaelic singers for a royal family event. Although Archibald and his family are contenders, another clan led by the scheming Carver is also in the running for the television contract. During auditions, Archibald refuses to shorten his traditional songs to three minutes, allowing Carver's family of lesser singers to win the contract. Despite this, Carver shows gratitude by giving Archibald cases of bootleg liquor, even though Archibald is known for his aversion to drinking and vices. Watching Carver and his clan celebrate in drunken revelry, Archibald reflects that, despite their inferior singing, they embody the true spirit of Scottish heroism. Other notable stories in Ireland include The Vastness of the Dark, The Lost Salt Gift of Blood, and As Birds Bring Forth the Sun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.